So example number three for influence line. For the beam shown on this figure, draw the influence line for she, uh, reaction B. Asan yung reaction B natin? Ito yun, B. Next, shear D, moment D, moment B, and then uh, due to a unit load, one unit load lang yan. So yung solution natin, unahin mo natin yung RB. So solution number one, so looking for our shear or RB, ayan. So all we have to do is, lagay natin when unit load, unit load is on the left side left side ng ano po left side of B kasi yung hinahanap so ito yung spand natin drawing tayo ng spand yan ilagay natin dito si B kasi yan yung support natin and then yung unit load is on the left side so mag drawing tayo dito ng okay ayan gulong this is probably X dagdahin na lang natin to para makita ito ay X Okay, ito naman. Ilan ang total distance ba nito? If this is A to C, and this is your D, probably this is your 4 plus 4, 8 plus 12 is 20 meters. So, that's why this is 20 minus X distance. So, summation moment at C na lang tayo para mawala yung RC natin at makuha natin yung RA natin. Ah, RA. Baka dito ako sa ano, A. Okay, sa may, ito, RB. Kasi RB yung kailangan ko. Kasi yun lang naman yung may support dyan. Is equal to zero, clockwise is positive. So, we have RB multiplied by, ilan yung distance na to? If this is 20, tapos ito naman ay 4 plus A, uh, 12 is, lagay natin 16 meters naman to. So, RB is 16 meters minus 1.0. This is 1 unit load multiplied by 20 minus X is equal to 0. So, ilipat natin to It will become positive. So, RB is equal to 20 minus X all over 16. So, ito yung gagamitin din natin na equation. So, ano yung limit natin? Kasi may RB tayo. Yung limit natin dito is from 0 up to kung saan yung RB natin, which is 4. So, x and 4. When x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 4, what is our RB? So, RB here is, compute natin, 20 minus 0 is 20 divided by 16. So, that is 5 all over 4. Next, how about this one? 4. So, 20 minus 4 is 16 divided by 16 is RB is 1.0. So, pwede na natin ilagay dito. From 5 all over 4, papunta sa 1. Next, ano naman yung gagawin natin? Kung tapos na tayo sa left side, punta tayo sa right side. When unit load... is on the right side the right side of B same lang na nakukunin natin yung figure na yan, ililipat lang natin yung gulong natin dito sa right side so ito na yun so dito na yung gulong 1.0, ito yung B natin ito yung A, ito naman yung C natin so, pwede kayong mag-summation moment para makuha si B. Pero, sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, same lang din yung lalabas na value, which is 20 minus x all over 16 yung nakuha nyo rito. So, ang limit lang natin na magbabago. Kasi yung kanina, 4, kung saan tayo nag-stop. Ngayon naman, kung saan na siya maglalas, which is 20. So, RB is equal to when x is equal to 4 and then x is equal to 20 gamit itong formula natin na yan. So, paano natin gagamitin yan? So, when the unit load is on the right side, so ito ay, lagyan natin ng RC yan 
parehas lang din naman. So, x, tapos ito, lagyan mo ng 20 minus x. Gamitin natin yung formula natin na to. So, rb is, to, uh, rb, 20 minus 4 is 16, divided by 16 is 1. Okay. Next, what is naman ito? 20 minus 20 is 0. Divided by 16 is 0. So, ilagay natin, ito yun, rb is, at 4 meters, diba? Yan. Tapos, yung isa naman, 0. So, ibig sabihin, yung figure natin dyan, ay ganito. Papunta dyan, so, 0. Yan. So, that is our IL for RB. Next naman tayo, compute for the influence line for sure D. Para, parehas lang din yung gagawin. Left side and the right side. Babaguhin pa ba natin yung RB? Hindi na. Ano po, as is na po yung RB natin, every calculations natin ng influence line. Okay, for solution for VD na tayo, no, shear D. So, ilagay natin dyan, shear D. When the unit load is on the left side of D, so, ito yon left side ng D. Okay, and then RB, same lang din kanina, 20 minus X all over 16. So, i-cut natin yung VD natin. So, yan yun. So, itong video, of course, may moment tayo dyan. Pero, hindi pa naman natin kailangan kunin yung moment. So, alisin muna natin yan para wala na masyadong structure or panggulo. So, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, pag shear, summation forces, vertical lang tayo. Para dami natin yung limit. What is our limit? From 0 up to ilan yung distance. Ano ba yung D natin? ba 8 meters. So, ilagay natin dyan 8. So, Summation moment or summation forces vertical is equal to zero. Upward is positive. So, we have RB minus 1.0 minus VD is equal to zero. Since RB is 20 minus X all over 16, minus 1.0 is equal to shear D. So, our formula must be shear D is equal to 20 minus X all over 16 minus 1. Pwede na natin gamitin yan for your shear. And then, when x is equal to 0, and then x is equal to 8. So, ganyan lang yung kabili. So, vd is equal to 20 minus 0 over 16 minus 1. And then, the other one naman, vd is equal to 20 minus 8 over 16 minus 1. So, ito, shear d is equal to 20 all over 16 minus 1. Itong kabila ay... 20 minus 8 is 12 all over 16 minus 1. So, our shear D here and shear D dito ay, anong value? Okay, dito, positive 1 fourth. Diba? 1, 5 all over 4 minus 1 is positive 1 fourth. Dito naman, 12 all over 16 minus 1 is negative 1 fourth. Kasi 3 fourth minus 1 is negative 1 fourth. So, ilagay natin dito, this is positive 1 fourth. And then, the other one, when x is equal to 0, it is positive 1 fourth. When x is equal to 8 meters, negative 1 fourth. Yan. Lagay natin yan dyan. So, line lang natin. Punta dyan. Yan. Next. Okay. When the unit load is on the right side of D, yung the unit load natin ay sa right side na ng D. So, ibig sabihin, dito sa may kinot natin, yung isolate natin na figure, wala na yung gulong kasi nasa right side na siya. So, RB is as is pa rin 20 minus X all over 16. While ito naman, yung shear D is nandyan. So, summation forces, vertical tie is equal to 0, upward is positive. Ano po na yung mga limit natin? Kung ano yung saan tayo nag-last kanina? Ba? Diba 8? So, 8 x and then yung last is 20 meters in distance so summation forces vertical upward so we have rb minus vd is equal to zero since rb is 20 minus x all over 16 that is equal to your shear d so this is our formula so when x is equal to 8 and x is equal to 20 what is our shear d shear d is 20 minus 8 all over 16 so that is 12 over 16, or roughly, that is 3 fourth. While here naman, sa x all over 20 natin, 20 minus 20 all over, okay, 16. So, that is equivalent to 0. So, ibig sabihin, dito ay 3 fourth on the right side, and the other one is 0. So, aangat. 
And then, pupunta dito. Tandaan, yung shear natin should be equivalent to 1. Okay? So, 1 fourth and then 3 fourth. So, that is equivalent to 1. Okay, kapag hindi yan nag-equal to 1, ibig sabihin mali po yung shear ninyo. Okay, so tapos na tayo sa influence line for shear D. Next naman tayo, dito naman tayo sa influence line para sa moment B. Okay, when the unit load is on the right side of D, pero ang pinukuha na natin dito ay moment D. Left side of D. So, yung loadings natin nasa left side ng D. Ito yun, nandito, banda. Left side ng D. So, ang gagawin natin, i-cut natin to. So, ibig sabihin, pag kinat natin yan, ito na yan, in-isolate natin. Kinuha natin yung RB, still pa rin, 20 minus, 6, minus X is over 16. And then, share D, moment C. So, para matanggal itong share D, dito na yung mag-moment. So, summation moment at D is equal to 0, clockwise is positive. So, ano mga clockwise dyan? We have RB, distance is 4. Minus 1.08 minus x minus mc is equal to 0. Ito magiging positive. So, we have mc is equal to, since rb is 20 minus x all over 16. So, cut natin ito, 16 divided by that, that is 4. So, it will become 20 minus x all over 4 minus 8. Yan. Pwede natin i-simplify yan or pwede namang as is na lang. Kung gusto nyo, ganyan na. Okay na yan. So, try natin i-solve yung mga limits yan. So, paano yung limits? From 0 to, ano po, distance nito ay hanggang 8. So, our MC is equal to 20 minus 8 all over. This is when X is equal to 0 muna. 0, 4 minus 8 minus 0. So, we have 20 all over 4 minus 8 is negative 3. So, lagay natin dyan negative 3. Okay? Next, when x is equal to, ilan po? Lagay natin dyan. Kilonewton meter. When x is equal to 8. 8 meters in distance. MC is equal to 20 minus 8 all over 4 minus 8 minus 8. So, this will become 0. So, ito naman. Ilan na to? 20 minus 8 is? Ilan? 20 minus 8. Okay, this is positive 3. MC is equal to positive 3. So, therefore, dito, we have negative 3. 3, and this one naman, we have positive 3. So, after natin ng left, punta naman tayo sa right side ng D. Para makompute natin yung moment dyan. Okay, when the unit load is on the right side of D, ano gagawin natin? Nakalipat na yung gulong natin dito ha, sa right side ng D. Ibig sabihin, wala na dito sa spawn natin. Pero, summation moment at D pa rin tayo is equal to 0 clockwise is positive para matanggal yung shear D natin. So, we have RB multiplied by 4 minus moment D is equal to 0. Our moment D is equal to, since RB is 20 minus X all over 16, substitute lang natin. So, we have 20 minus X all over 16, 4, so it will become 4. So, MD is equal to 20 minus X all over 4. So, this will be our equations para makuha natin. Yung mga limit natin from yung nag end tayo kayo na sa 8 up to 20. So, when x is equal to 8 and x is equal to 20, what is our MD? Here, our MD would be 20 minus 8 all over 4 and then dito naman 20 minus 20 all over 4. So, this is 0. Paano naman to? Okay? 20 minus 8 is... 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. So, our MD is positive 3 kilo newton. So, from here, we have 3 to 0. So, 3 and then 0 naman pala dyan. So, that is our moment 4D. Plus is moment B. Okay. Next naman tayo ay moment B. For the moment B, okay, when the unit load is on the left side of B, 
So, ito yun. Kung saan meron tayong reaction, di ba? Doon, kung natin kukunin yung moment B natin. So, i-cut natin to Since yung RB natin is same pa din na 20 minus x all over 16, di pa rin nagbabago. Okay na yan. Ngayon, ang kailangan ko is RB. Ah, sorry, moment B. So, paano yan? So, we have summation moment at, syempre, B tayo. Magbong moment. B is equal to 0, clockwise is positive. Para makuha, mawala yung shear B, mawawala rin yung RB. Clockwise, ano yung mga clockwise dyan? So, we have clockwise, wala, negative 1.0 multiplied by 4 minus X minus MB is equal to 0. So, transpose MB is equal to negative 1, 4 minus X. When x is equal to, ang limit ko lang dyan ay 0, papunta kay 4. When x is equal to 0, our moment b is equal to negative 4 multiplied by, sorry, negative 4. Negative 1 minus 4 minus 0. Therefore, my moment here is negative 4. When x is equal to 4, what is, our, what is my moment? So, negative 1, 4 minus 4, so that is equivalent to 0. Next, when unit load is on the right side naman. For the right side, ganito rin ulit nga gamitin natin. Okay, when the unit load is on the right side of B, and dito na po yung unit load natin. Ito lang kailangan natin i-govern. So, ito yun. I isolate ko na. So, walang loading. So, ano mapapansin nyo? Summation moment at B is equal to 0, so moment B is also equal to 0. So, therefore, yung nakuha lang natin kanina na negative 4, and then, negative 4, and then 0. So, yun lang yung moment natin para dito. Okay? IL4MB. So, that's it. So, thank you.